In this video, we're going to learn about polar tracking. All right, so open up your set MM template and save it as tracking tutorial. All right, so we want to make sure that our object snap in our status bar is turned on and our polar tracking is turned on. That's the one with the little circle and the angle. So we want to turn that on. Make sure that your dynamic input is off. And we're going to set our polar tracking angle. So uh, type in polar ang. Right now it's set to 90 degrees. That doesn't give us very much flexibility, so it's only going to track like 0, 90, 180. So we want angles in between that. So uh, let's do 15 degrees. Next we want to select what we want to snap to. So select the object snap setting either up here in your panel or down here in the status bar. All right, we want endpoint, midpoint, center, quadrant, intersection, parallel, nearest, tangent, perpendicular, and extend. And we also want object snap tracking on. And there we go. So all of those. Go OK. And we want to be in our world coordinate system. So view, world, and zoom all. So remember, when you zoom all, it can be Z, enter, A, enter. It's just so fast. I just do it that way, but uh, remember you can go over here in the navigation bar and do zoom all there as well. All right, so we're going to draw the first object that you see in the tutorial in the book. And we're going to do that with lines and polar tracking. So we're going to do a line and we're going to start that line at 30 comma 30. All right, that first one, first line, is 40 units long, or 40 millimeters long, at an angle of 60 degrees. So you can see that I am tracking angles. Find that 60 degree, line it up on that, and then just type in 40. Boom, it's done. Now find the 90 degree one type in 30. Find the 30 degree one, type in 25. Find the 330, because that's minus 30 degrees, and type in 25 again. Then 270, type in 30. 300, type in 40, and then go back to the beginning. So you can see how fast polar tracking makes drawing if you know you have a bunch of angles. All right, we're going to mirror this. So we're going to select the mirror, and we're going to um, select everything. So draw a window around it, hit enter, and our mirror line will start at 140 comma 20. So you can see here. And we want a polar path that's 90 degrees. So just anywhere along this line, go ahead and click. And it asks us, do we want to erase the source object? No, we don't. And 
and my objects seem kind of far apart and I'm wondering why. Did I get off somewhere? I might have made this somewhere else. So let's move that. I might have accidentally typed in something different. Well, this is a good opportunity to learn how to use a base point um, with a specific geometric component. So I'm going to choose my base point right there and I'm going to move it to where it should have been. Which is uh, 30, 30, 30, comma 30. Haha! -ha! So it was definitely not in the right place. So I'm just going to erase that. So delete. Oh, I'm moving it. I'm going to erase it. You can also use delete to erase things. I'm going to go back to the mirror again. Select mirror line 140, comma 20. Ah, much better. That's what I love about computers. You can always fix your mistake. All right, so now in the status bar, this object snap tracking, we turned it on in the object snap option window, but make sure it's on. And now we're going to make sure our polar mode is two. This allows you to track using polar pass and uh, you'll find out what that means in the next step. All right, so now we're going to draw a polygon. So underneath the rectangle, let's draw a polygon. Now, how many sides does a polygon have? It's eight. And now we want to specify a center point. So we're going to do some kind of weird things. We're going to acquire some points. So let's acquire this point here. So kind of just hover over it a little bit and you'll notice that it's acquired. If when you move off of it, you get a line. Now we want to acquire this point. And now see when you move off of it, you get a line. So we want that point where we get a 15 degree angle from point one and a 90 degree angle from point two. So that's where our polygon is going to be. So we'll click. And it's going to be an inscribed polygon, radius 15. There we go. So that's kind of cool how you can, you know, work off of existing geometry that way. All right, so we're going to do one more polygon in a similar way. So we'll do another polygon. And this time it has six sides. And now we're going to select a temporary tracking point. So that means we're going to create a point kind of out in space that's going to be used temporarily. So over here in the object snap, panel, there's this temporary tracking point command. We're going to click on that. 
And then we're going to acquire this point here. Get this extension line so it's parallel with the line, the angle of the object. And we're going to get this point, this line parallel, until they meet. Then we're going to click. That's our temporary line. Then we're going to acquire this point and come over until they're perpendicular. And that's our center point. We'll click. This polygon is also inscribed in a radius of 30. There we go. So that's kind of complex stuff, but it's neat to know. So you can save your, your drawing and uh, have fun playing around with that stuff.